Marhaba, this is the Arab Gamer from Game Over Reviews, and I'm here with uh, Amir. Amir. Yes. Okay, Amir. I'm here with Amir from uh, SAE Institute, and he is. Uh, we will be talking about the game development course. Tell us, what do you think about uh, game development? Do you think there's an opportunity here? Well, uh, the game programming, specifically on the mobile and tablet devices, is just beginning all over the world. There's at the moment about 800 million uh, mobile uh, smartphones out there. There's going to be another 4 billion in the next five years. So there's definitely a lot of opportunity out there and the do door is just barely being opened for it. So. Okay, that's really cool because, you know, I studied game development and, you know, at the time it was, uh, that was before Unity and Unreal Engine became free, you know, these free tools that could help you, uh, you know, learn how to make games on your computer, right? And now we have all these new platforms, mobile phones, you know, Android, iPhone, and you can export them to other dev kits like Xbox 360, you know. So do you think with this course, would they have like the proper tools needed for them to be ready to make video games? Well, there is three things to video game execution. There's a design, there's a development, and there's a programming. The course we have in here is focused mainly on the programming aspect and it touches from time to time on the design and development aspect. But the reason we chose this track is there is way too many people out there who can design a video game or they have ideas for games. There isn't as many people who can actually sit down and program that game. So I think there is a lot of potential out there for somebody who has studied something like that to come out and make a game either independently on an, on an Android device, an iPhone device as you mentioned, or join a big production company and work on a triple A video game. I know, I know it with game development, it's a really, you know, it's kind of like you're rather a designer or rather a programmer, but if you're like a technical artist, you know a bit of programming, you know a bit of art, so do you think that with your course, you'll be teaching people how to, uh, how to be good at one thing, or would you be teaching them a general subject and let them go into their own field? Well, we have a, we have a two years course, which is six trimesters, and it's a very condensed version and it's very, uh, in many ways, it's a very hectic course because you have to be on it like on a five days a week, like a, like a full-time job. And the way we designed it is that the moment you graduate, you can actually make your own video game. You wouldn't need to be a part of another team and you wouldn't need to be picked up by a big company. You can make your own independent game on, on Unity or UDK or a variety of devices such as web or mobile devices or you could become a part of a part of a big team. As a result, I think uh, I think it very much does satisfy the need of anyone who wants to enter the game game development. So it would teach them the general principles as well as what it really needs to to program a game. So that's the idea in here. Okay, that's pretty cool. And uh, do you think uh, when your students will come and join the institute, will they be focusing on one tool or will they learn like the bare basics? Because like when I studied game development, it had, we had to learn a bit of object-oriented programming, like C++, even, uh, you know, the regular uh, ASCII, you know, the bare bones of programming. Would you, would you teach them the bare bones and then move up or would they learn how to use a tool and adapt to that tool? One of the reasons we have this course in two years is the nature of this industry, which is a very fast-paced, changing industry. As a result, we, are, we tend to, to let our students graduate with a set of knowledge that helps them get an immediate job or develop an immediate game while they have the foundation to move into any other tool. The tools that we cover in here are mainly Unity 3D with C Sharp programming, as well as mono development with C Sharp, iPhone programming with Objective C, as well as UDK and, UD and Unreal Script. But obviously, down the track, you might end up in a different company with a different set of tools, and we tend to give you the kind of knowledge that puts you in the right round foundation so you move into any kind of industry and any kind of software. Okay, that's, uh, that's also, again, it's really interesting because, uh, you know, like, like I said, you have to learn the bare bones and then move up. Um, now, regarding the tools used and all this, because you said it's kind of a crash course, so do you think it's going to take a long time for them to adapt or how long exactly is the course going to be? Would they be able to, at one point, stop and go primarily into design or would they be able to continue and maybe grow up and take more courses? But the way we have the course is that within the two years, you have a one year that you, get, you earn your diploma, which by the end of it, you are fairly capable of developing games for mobile devices and be a part of a bigger team and develop your program code. 
And then you have the second year that get, gives you your bachelor's degree, that gives you more advanced techniques such as network development and network gaming and physics and engines and such. So you could very well put a stop at the end of one year and decide that I want to become an indie game, I want to make my own iPhone games, or I want to continue with programming, or I want to go to a game development company and be in charge of the design. So we have developed in a way that you have that choice half in between. Okay, and will there be any, now we're teaching them how to make games, would, they, would you be teaching them how to market it and sell it? Will there any be business aspect to it? Throughout the second year, we have a few business modules. Most notably, we have a marketing module as well as a media atmosphere module and copyrights matters. Some of the t hottest topics in the game industry at the moment. We also have a unit that we ask students to make a complete game design documentation from a perspective of if you have a great game and you want to send it to a company to develop it for you. So you understand the business of game development as well. That's the way that we develop it. Okay, all right, so there you have it. Uh, SAE Institute by, uh, thank you very much, Amir, for teaching Pleasure. us about uh, game development. And I hope it grows because, you know, there's so many talented people here. Indeed. And, you know, Arab, Arabs love developing, you know, they love playing games. So I'm pretty sure there are a lot who love playing games in the region. And, uh, yeah, so that's a really good job. Thank you so much for Thanks having me. Thanks a lot. Me. All right.